Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another video for you guys. So today what we're going to be teaching you guys is how to become a absolute deadeye sharpshooter with Piper. We're going to tell you guys a few strategies, which star power to use, which gadget to use, how to use stuff properly, but more in-depth stuff besides that. Obviously everyone can tell you what the better star power and what the better gadget is for scenarios, but we're going to teach you guys how to actually hit shots, how to two-tap opponents, how to predict movements, etc. So with that being said, we're going to hop into a couple ladder games right here. We're going to explain the basics in the first couple, and then we're going to go a little bit more in-depth towards the end, so make sure you guys watch the whole video. Now before we continue, if you guys can leave a like, you know, comment on the video saying absolutely anything and drop a sub, that would mean the world. It helps me out a ton, especially the like, so make sure you go ahead and drop a like. But with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get things going. Alright, so here we go into our first game. So the thing that's very important to start off when you're playing Piper is to try and grab squishier targets because those are the ones that you two tap. Now I'm going to be using Ambush Star Power. Now we're facing a Colt, a Mr. P, and a Piper. So if we're laning the Piper, it's going to be an automatic two shot no matter what. So you don't have to use the Ambush Star Power at all. Same thing with the Colt. You hit it one time, it's going to be a two shot unless you know you're really close like I was over there. So you definitely want to keep your distance, obviously, if you're playing Piper. Now with Piper, you don't want to auto-aim. You did see that I did hit a shot earlier on with Piper with the auto-aim. But that's because there is a distance at where you can hit it every single time. So definitely, you know, don't auto-aim. Try and aim as much as you can with Piper. But if you're close enough like that, you can just hit that auto-aim button. And it'll work out really well. Now something you want to do if you're playing really aggressive with Piper is trying to break their walls. So now you can see their left side is totally open. They can't do anything about it. And they have nowhere to hide behind. Obviously the less things to hide behind the, be the you know, much better it is for Piper. So one thing that you want to do is obviously, you know, stay in the bushes if you want to get those that extra damage. And if someone is really far away in one shot, something you can do is just click that gadget button with the long shot and then click the auto aim. I'm going to show you guys right here. You click the gadget button, auto aim, and it's never, ever, ever going to miss unless something absolutely crazy happens. So as you guys can see, you know, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of a tutorial, but we already have seven stars to start off. You guys can see we're also camping the left side of the map. And if you want to go for those really long shots, usually you can. Now they did nerf the curve a little bit, so it's not as broken as it was before. But again, we do have our jump. We're playing aggressive, so we do want to go for the wall break. And obviously there is skill in hitting shots. It's not just like you can, you know, pick it up from watching this video and learn straight away. But there are ways to tell which way people are going to juke. And I'm going to teach you guys that towards the end of the video. So again, just going to continuously shoot at these targets. You want to hide behind objects. Stay as far back as possible. You never want to just run out in the open. Because I'm going to show you guys what happens. I'm going to be actually hitting like all my shots and trying my best. But obviously, if you're in the open, you're going to get sniped. You always want to stay beside some form of an object because even though I hit every shot, it's just impossible for me to stay alive in that circumstance when there's nothing to hide behind. So if you're playing Piper, keep your distances. Go to a side where there's not too many things to hide behind, but where you have something 100% that you can kind of just go back to and say, okay, I'm going to chill. I'm going to heal up for a sec. Now, with that being said, I'm going to hop into the next game. I'm going to teach you guys how to use the other star power. It's a lot different of a, you know, game style than the current one that we're using. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. Now, moving into the next game, we're going to be showing you guys some gameplay on Heist. Now, Piper, you know, unlike what people usually say, is actually a really good brawler in a lot of different modes if you are hitting your shots and playing it properly. So with this star power, we're going to be using the first one. You kind of want to go closer to people. It's a lot easier to hit shots if you're closer. Uh, because you can actually just go close and auto aim, you know, even though you're not supposed to auto aim with Piper, it is still an option. So you can just move forward and auto aim. We're going to break this, you know, little bush area over here because we're, we want to be able to hit the safe. And if you're using this star power, you can kind of just chuck shots at the safe. And you're either going to hit the safe or hit someone body blocking for the safe and actually do a ton of damage. You guys can see, I'm just chilling in the back, hitting the safe, and we're doing a ton of damage. Now, when you're using this star power, something you want to do is also use, um, is use this gadget. Because it's really good for, you know, just keeping people away from you. And you guys can see, I'm not even aiming. Everything is just pure auto-aim right there. And I hit five straight shots. But you can do that because you just stay close enough to your opponents in order to continuously hit shots. And, you know, when you're close enough, you're doing a fair amount of damage. You can back people off. You just want to pick your matchups properly. You guys can see we got a really easy star player in Heist. Now we're going to continue over to Brawl Ball. We're going to show you guys where it's a little bit harder of a map. How to exactly play and how to change the map. So it helps for Piper. And then we're going to show you guys some more in-depth gameplay and how to judge and predict your enemy movement and how to hit them more often than not. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. So here we go into the game. Now, obviously, as you guys can tell, this is going to be a little bit more of a difficult map. And there's a lot of grass. So you guys might be 
asking, you know, why not use the ambush star power? But the plan on this map is kind of just to move up, you know, very slowly. We don't have to rush anything. We can take our time. But we did hit the first shot over there. Luckily, we are facing someone who's AFK for the moment. And all we're going to do is move right over here and just break their grass. So as you guys can see, right off the bat, the right side of the map is completely better for us. So now we're kind of just chilling over here. The right side is open. So Piper just became, just went from a terrible brawler on this map to a very good brawler on this map, one super into the game. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here, break this section, and in about 30 seconds into the game, we have a wide open field to just absolutely go off with the snipes, continue firing away, and you know, just keep going. Now, it's pretty easy to do this. Um, it might take a little bit of time, might not be as fast as I am when it comes to breaking stuff, because obviously you do have to hit shots in order to get your super and all of that. But it's not too difficult and you know people saying that Piper isn't playable on a lot of maps you know it's not really that true. You can definitely change how the maps are and now we're going to spawn into it after coming in from you know a goal and even if they scored the map is absolutely wide open and perfect for Piper just to go out and you know just hit some shots. You know we hit a shot on the Rico over there. If we had our other star power which also is very viable over here we could just hit a shot on someone else who's like halfway across the map. But either way, you know, we change the map. There's stuff like that you can do with Piper to completely change things and make it a lot easier for you. But again, like I said, I had that little row of grass and boxes that I can hide behind. Always have something to hide behind. Don't just run into the open. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hop into a 1v1. You know, I'm just going to challenge someone who I'm close friends with. He has 30k trophies, which is, I don't know how many more. I think like over 6,000 more trophies than I have right now. But we're going to be able to predict his movement because 99.9% .9 of players do this exact thing. And we're going to show you guys what it is. So let's hop into that game and show you guys what's up. Okay, so here what we're going to be doing is doing a 1v1 on the new 1v1 map, Purple Paradise versus Kano. Now, I faced him yesterday on it and I gave him a little bit of tips after the fact. So maybe it's not going to be as predictable and as easy as it would be to just, you know, a regular person or a regular good player. But basically what I'm going to do is teaching you guys movements that people do when they face a Piper. So when you're facing a Piper, it's something that you're really focused on. It's juking, but your brain is kind of, you know, reactive and it reacts to things in a certain way. So if someone is moving to the left and they get hit by a Piper shot, instinctively 99.9% .9 of the players are immediately going to go to the right. And if you get hit walking to the right, instinctively they're going to turn to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and teach you how to two tap people, which is basically the most important skill when it comes to uh, when it comes to Piper. Um, and it's not just in 1v1s, it's just Piper in general. Obviously, if you're using gadget, you can do what I taught you earlier and just click that gadget button, click the auto aim, and it's going to hit every single time. But we're going to turn off gadgets this time because just in case you're a free-to-play player like a lot of you guys are, we want to teach you guys how to get two taps and how to just absolutely destroy people in general. So we're going to hop into this game right here and we're going to see if Kano hopefully didn't learn from my tips and I can show you guys how 99.9% .9 of players juke and how to beat it. Okay, so going into this game over here, it's already Gold Piper versus Silver Piper, so it should go pretty well, but we're just going to walk up over here. Now, obviously, you want to keep your distance if you're playing a Piper, but since we're a Piper, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to try and juke the opposite way. So I'm going to shoot to the left over here. I think he's taking my tips already, which I can tell. So I'm going to shoot to the right, and he's going to go back to the left. Just like I said, instinctively, people do that. Now, he's trying his best not to do that because I told him to avoid doing it last time, but that's exactly what everyone does. So I'm going to try and go for the hit on the right. I'm gonna hit him and he's gonna go to the left as you guys saw now I thought he was gonna try and trick me, but he's gonna go right back to the left um, Eventually now I did hit him once he got a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna run away um, But again when I hit him, I'm just gonna shoot the opposite way that he's going So again a couple misses. He's a good player. So, you know, it's not expected that I just destroy him over here uh, I'm gonna move back I'm Gonna go for that first tap moving up very slowly I'm Gonna shoot him Again, you guys can see though, I'm moving one direction. I'm not just being obvious going back and forth. That's something that you guys really want to focus on. If you're playing against another Piper, he's going to go left here after I hit him to the right, and that's going to be an easy kill. Now, again, his jukes are pretty good. 99.9% .9 of players aren't going to be as good as Kano. So if you guys are just using that left to right strat, it's going to work out. Again, he's going to go back to the right. That's how every single player in this game jukes. They juke the exact same way. So this could even be a juking lesson. You know, try and walk in a straight line sometimes. You don't have to be so obvious. He's going to go back to the right. Oh, we almost got him there. Um, but again, don't be so obvious, but that's how everyone's going to juke. You know, not a lot of people are going to watch this video. So you guys are going to get a major tip with that one right there. 
but that's how you play Piper basically. You shoot one side, they're gonna juke to the other side, and then you keep going. He did it again, even though I told him not to. Instinctively, players do it over and over and over again. And that's how you win these 1v1s. That's how you win Piper v Piper, Piper v range matchups. And I really do encourage you guys to take that big tip, because that's probably the biggest tip that I can give you guys for Piper gameplay. And I feel like not a lot of people give that tip. Um, not a lot of people share that, but that's what you guys want to be doing. That is a very useful tip you guys should recognize. Now, I could go and I could face someone else randomly, but, you know, it's not going to help that much. It's just basically going to be me beating them for two minutes. So we're going to cut the video right there. But I've given about every single tip that you guys need to be a good Piper. Now, obviously, you can't just snap your fingers and become a pro. But over time, you guys are going to learn exactly what to do. You guys, your shots are going to be better. Your movement's going to be better. And this video is definitely going to be a big help. So anyways, if you guys can subscribe... Please do that because it does help me out a lot, uh, a lot. Again, like, comment, do all of that. But that's going to be it for me today. I will be back again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.